It is the second day of the governor's rule in the state of Jammu and Kashmir and the crackdown on radical separatists and the Pakistan proxies has just begun already. First, this was Yasin Malik who has been arrested and then Hilal War of uh, the Mirwais faction of the Hurriyat who has been also put under house arrest and in fact somebody who was recently at the Pakistan High Commission. And now, in fact, it is the turn of the Hurriyat leader Mirwai Zumar Farooq who has also been put under house arrest. That's the latest we are picking up. It is only the day two of the governor's rule in Jammu and Kashmir and the biggest crackdown on uh, the big troublemakers in Kashmir has already begun. Three key radical separatists have been apprehended already. Two have been put on house arrest and one has been arrested. On your screens right now, viewers, is Yasin Malik, Hilal Bar and Mirwai Zumar Farooq. These are the radical separatists who have been apprehended now. And Zeenat Zishan Fazil is in fact joining us uh, on this broadcast. Zeenat, what's the latest you're picking up? It's the biggest crackdown on these radical separatists. But the big question certainly is that how long will they be apprehended? Because this is just the beginning of the governor's rule. See, uh, the uh, governor rule and its priority at present is to restore peace on ground, to give commoner a breathing space, and space that was really choked after the uh, PDP and the BGP alliance ended. So it is more like a sigh of relief to the commoners, particularly we are not witnessing the uh, the militant attacks that much as we used to report earlier in a, in a day. There used to be two, three, or four, or the pelting, used, there would be a pelting towards the forces. But for the last two days, we haven't seen much like that. But definitely this is all because of the governor that has been in place since yesterday. Now the separatists who have called for the complete shutdown in the valley against the killing of the civilians and also the assassination of Said Shujaat Bukhari, the editor-in-chief of Local Daily who was recently murdered by the militants in press colony when he was towards his home. So definitely right now the governor rules and the governor administration don't want to take any chance by allowing the separatists to form and travel in the valley by carrying the protest rallies that they used to carry earlier they used to get uh, they used to get group number of people to join and then that used to instigate violence and in that sometimes some would get the pallet injury or sometimes some, somebody would lose his life so definitely the governor is not taking any chance by allowing the separatists to take out the rallies so we have been seeing since morning first the yasin was detained in a local police station engineer uh, engineer hilal war who's from the mirwais faction has been put under house arrest and similarly mirwais umar Farooq, whose residence is in, in the downtown area that comes in the Nagin of uh, Srinagasti, he has been put under house arrest. So completely they don't want to take any chance with the peace at present. They don't want separatists to come out of their residences, then make a uh, assemblance of uh, people. Then there would be the normal things that used to follow earlier when there used to be the protest rallies carried by the separatists. So definitely the governor is looking to have a peace on the ground, to restore peace on the ground and to provide a commoner, a breathing space. We do hope uh, and uh, in fact uh, are getting reports that there could be an all-party meeting called by the governor tomorrow as well, Zinat. But the question right now is, you mentioned that uh, it's not just about the Kashmiri civilian killings, but also Shujaat Bukhari's assassination that the separatists have been protesting on. But the question is, were they sleeping till now? Well, what about uh, the hartals or protests uh, on Shujaat Bukhari's killing? Uh, because till now it doesn't seem that the radical separatists are really worried, especially the Gilani faction of Huriyat, which was worried about Shujaat Bukhari and others attending the Dubai conference, but now are completely silent over that so-called inquiry that they had ordered. See, uh, when we talk about the uh, Saeed Ali Shah Gilani faction, the Hurriyat G faction, definitely not uh, that way that there has been any kind of condemnation, but the Shujaat killing was condemned by every corner, from the separatists to the mainstreams to the civil society. But they had not come very openly on that. But yes, after the uh, this uh, joint uh, Hurriyat uh, conference, which they call in their terms the GRL, the Joint Resistance uh, Leadership, which they call in their language, that yes, they had come with a statement that they, they are against such killing that is why the shutdown was called but not really and we talk about the Shujaat Bukhari and his uh, career in the media though he was uh, very close to the separatists and also the way that write-ups and other things would be in his newspaper definitely reflects the ideology of the separatists he used to keep everybody happy but despite that he was uh, he was killed in a 
go in a in a brutal manner when more than 13 bullets were pumped in his abdomen and one in his head so definitely that was one of the brutal killing that the kashmir valley witnessed and that too in a broad daylight when the police station koti bag was just 200 meters away and they could not lap that time the killers and that uh, the killers are right, still like that was pointed by the with us uh, even as uh, lieutenant general bs jaiswal joins us on the phone line thank you very much sir for joining us uh, on the phone line yeah. uh, you know the question right now is it is just the beginning of the governor's rule and the crackdown has begun do you think and perhaps get a message that the a uh, message from the governor and the government is very clear that this is just the beginning the radical separatists will not be allowed to in fact instigate any kind of stone pelting and violence and there could be some beginning of massive operations in the coming days uh firstly the stage had been reached uh, wherein uh, the cliche enough is enough uh, you know is in place uh the governor's rule definitely the first priority is to bring in conducive environment and in doing so there are two aspects one the army is definitely launching lots of operations so as to deny space to the terrorists and secondly uh the people who are creating problem responsible for creating problem they have to be addressed and they are rightly addressing so this will infuse confidence amongst the awam that yes certain semblance of governance is going to be there and they are not going to be put through duress uh, at the hand of these perpetrators and proxies of pakistan so i think the governor's rule has started off on a very firm footing and uh, there is no ambiguity as far as approach is concerned he is going to go after all elements which have been creating trouble in the valley that's an important statement you make uh, lieutenant general bs jaiswal but the question is also about the regional players like the national conference and the pdp of course they are accusing each other for the kind of fall of the government that happened a national conference saying it was a mili bhagat of the pdp and the bjp while the pdp says they were uh, caught unaware completely but the question is will the regional players the nc and the pdp support the governor support the process because when i spoke to farooq abdullah he was positive about that but the question is when the governor perhaps chooses to go all out against terrorists so will in fact the state players really support them the biggest problem in the valley is uh, political squabbles you see uh, they've tried all models the national conference has been in the government uh pdp has been in the government the congress has been in the government if in case they are genuine in resolving the kashmir issue there is no other option but to support and i fully support uh dr farooq abdullah's statement that's a very very mature statement in saying that they will cooperate with the governor that is the only feature of the valley is the political <clears throat> all right all right uh, lieutenant general bs jaiswal thank you very much for giving us that perspective uh, but that's the latest we are bringing for our viewers